one of my Patreon supporters asked me, why do my renders look like shit? My model is great, my textures are great, but when I render it, it looks like shit. So how do I make it not look like shit? Okay, that's basically what the question was. So here's a foolproof way to make literally anything. I'm talking about literally a subdivided default cube, monkey, plane, probably. Anything can be photorealistic in Blender. Here's a trick, okay? I have this example of a model right here. Probably if you're a beginner, this is what you're doing right now, all right? You have your model, you have your scene, and you put like a plane or like a like an area light or something. Maybe if you're if you want to be a hero, you put a sunlight. You're like, yeah, this is gonna be more realistic. Maybe you put a couple of lights or something. And chances are, this looks like shit. Okay. So let me explain something to you. If you pick up an object around you, let's say I take this coffee mug right here. I can make the same object in Blender. If I put it in this scene, it's gonna look like shit. It's just gonna be an ugly black object. But right now here it looks beautiful. So what makes it look beautiful and realistic? Okay, it's not even about the textures that much because it's just a flat black material. If you look at this object, look at the reflections on the object, okay? You can see my room around it, you can see yourself, I can see the window reflect, I can see all kinds of shit reflecting from the cup, all right? So what actually makes it realistic are the shadows, are the reflections, or the lights of the environment. Okay, that's what makes it look real. Because there's a bunch of different colors coming from all different directions, and that's what makes the object look realistic, right? So if we can do the same thing in Blender, we're done. That's pretty much all you have to do, and you're going to have a photorealistic result almost every single time, maybe with a little bit more tweaking, okay? So here's how you do that, right? All you have to do is a few short steps. Go to Google, go to whatever browser you're using, and type in HDRI. HDRI. I'm just gonna search HDRI because I don't want this. Fucking hell. HDRI. And the first thing that pops up is probably gonna be a website called Polyhaven. And, but there's a bunch of others, it's all the same. And if you click on Polyhaven HDRIs, and I would love to tell you, I'm gonna put the link in the description, I'm gonna put the link in the comments, but I'm gonna forget, so don't bother, just type it in, all right? HDRIs. And here you have a whole collection of pictures which are like 360 environment images, all right? So if you look at an example, let's say you look at an apartment or something, this is a studio right here. We're gonna download this studio. You click on any picture, and this is a 360 unwrapped picture of this studio. It's basically like the map, a map of the world, but it's an environment. It's like you scan your room or something, okay? And you can download a whole bunch of different stuff. Just click this big purple button. You can get outdoor fields, you can get roads, you can get seaside, you can get city, whatever you want. Whatever kind of environment would be suitable for your object. You can do it studio lighting, whatever you want, okay? Download that, go back to Blender, and just a way to make this a little bit easier, go to Edit, Preferences, go to Add-ons and just type in a Node, and you're gonna get an add-on which comes up, it's called Node Wrangler, okay? Click on that, that makes it easier to map images, all right? I have some more tutorials for this, just you can just texture anything without UV unwrapping very easily. That's what we're going to use here as well. Just check this box, close this, and now open your shader, shading editor where you have your nodes for, for a texture, a nodes for an object or material or whatever. And in the left side, you're gonna see this little box called Object. You want to change this, so click on this and change it to World because now, you're not editing the nodes for a specific object, for a specific material, like the red material that I had on this object. Now you're editing the nodes for the world, okay? So you can literally put in a texture for the world. You can create a, a procedural global environment. You see right now, just a, a gray color. If we put this in rendered view right now, just a gray background. I think mine is also transparent, so whatever it is, it's not gonna be visible. But let me demonstrate, all right? If we don't make it transparent. Right now, just a boring gray color. I can change this to red, I can change this to yellow, green, blue, whatever, okay? The same way I can change the color, right? I can also replace this simple color with an image, okay? So the way to do that is I'll select this background node over here and I'll press Control T. And that will give you a couple of nodes which are used to map a texture onto an object or onto an environment in this case. And then you just have an image, basically an image texture node, which is meant for loading an environment. Click open and find whatever thing you just downloaded, the Polyhaven Studio thing. You have a perfect photorealistic environment for your object, right? Look at this. We can, it's, it's literally sitting inside of a room. And now you can just come over here to your render properties to make this transparent so you don't have to deal with seeing this in the background but you can keep it if you want to 
and look how much more realistic the reflections on this object look right now okay now let's go to Eevee so it's a little bit faster so I can make my point a little bit more easily but now you can you can basically see the environment reflecting from your object all right and that's what's going to make it look realistic all you have to do now is add maybe some more filling lights if you want to okay like I have this little environment that I built I put it to the side and once you render that this is gonna you can use some more lights maybe to light some darker spots or something like that you don't have to worry about this this is just like an addition but the idea is once you add a realistic environment, a picture of a fucking environment, shit becomes photorealistic. That's all you have to do. Try this. Try it on a monkey. Try it on anything. You go to Cycles, download an HDRI, put it in any kind of environment. It's going to look absolutely phenomenal. This is all I do for my clients. This is all I do professionally, right? You can make models like this. And this is, this is how you make something look photorealistic and you can present it to your client, right? This is a simple trick. It's all you have to know. You don't have to know about different ray tracing and scattering properties and all this good no you don't have to do any of this bullshit just download an hdri put it in your scene boom that's it that's how we do it on my channel let me know what you want to see next i'll see you guys in the next one